Well, as Jim Morrison once said, this is the end. The end of our class. And we only have one thing to do this week. Our final paper. You know this. Okay, so it's on Hamlet. The Tragedy of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, full title by William Shakespeare. And it is contained within chapter 28 in our portable literature section. I have this uh, link in the week 8 folder right above the uh, assignment submission drop box. I also have reposted chapter 2, Writing Literary Arguments. Same thing you did with the first two essays. This time you are incorporating research. And you must have three to five sources, minimum three to five sources, scholarly sources, gleaned from the uh, Galileo databases. The page length is four to six pages. Times New Roman, MLA heading, a creative original title, Works Cited page is on its own separate page and does not count in the page count. It is its own page. Your Works Cited entries need to be alphabetized by last name. And if you have a second or subsequent line after that of a citation on your Works Cited page, they need to be justified over as a hanging indent. In Microsoft Word, you go to Paragraph, there's a drop-down and select hanging and it'll push it over for you, okay? I would use easybib.com if you are having trouble formatting your citations. It's a pretty good website to use. Um, also keep in mind that on this essay, which if I didn't tell you, I know I have, but I haven't yet in this video, is due May the 8th. That is Friday, Friday, why? Because Monday, the 11th, at 10 a.m., GNTC requires their final grades uh, submitted. So you all have until the last minute of 5-8, 11.59 p.m. that Friday, to turn in your essay. And then I have to get busy turning those back around to you, grading them uh, pretty lightning speed-like, okay? Because... I gotta have that in uh, for grades. And also you have a final blog this week. This will be our third and final blog for the 11 of two half. So I'll give you bonus points for each time you participated in the blog, a couple of points, okay, on your final uh, Hamlet essay, okay. I have some uh, extra resources too in the announcement this week, in the, uh, you know, typed announcement. Right under the video link, uh, you are watching this video underneath that link. I have another video. It is a it's a it's a book club podcast, and it's two uh, cultural commentators uh, whom I really like. Uh, one uh, the guy's name is Michael Knowles. He's a, a, a kind of a small scale uh, actor uh, based in Los Angeles, and so is. The uh, person he's talking to, Andrew Claven, who is an author, um, and they're talking about Hamlet. And it's only 20, 25 minutes long, and they're, they talk a lot about the same things we've talked about pertaining to this play. be a really good idea to give it a watch. Really kind of help uh, simplify things for you, maybe reiterate and reemphasize things that we've talked about having to do with the play. And I also have a blog link underneath that uh, book club link. Uh, it's a really useful uh, analysis uh, that a, uh, I don't know if she's a graduate student. I, I can't remember her name, but uh, she writes a pretty uh, insightful analysis of the soliloquy. Okay. Now, if you use that in your paper, you have to cite it. But remember, it's not a scholarly source. You have to have the three to five scholarly sources satisfied before you could use additional internet sources, okay? So those two resources uh, in the announcement this week, I recommend you give them a look, okay? Uh, keep in mind, too, that there is a plagiarism checker on this paper. Some of you have gotten the red flag. Okay, my plagiarism checker 
you know, and, and sometimes it, it it's just pulls up coincidences. I mean, there are going to be lines of text, especially in this, that are going to be cross-referenced with other students' papers because you're all writing on the same thing, okay? And quoting the famous to be or not to be, of course it's going to find that on the internet, okay? So I, I'm not worried about that, and, I, and I'll, I know the difference. But what I will be looking out for, you know, and it gives me a rating. It, 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 if, if the plagiarism checker comes up 25% or above, I look at that report and see what it found, okay? And if it matches something you've said with some internet source or something from another student's paper that is a verbatim or close enough and isn't a quote from the primary source, the play, well, my antenna go up, and uh, that's a problem. You get a zero for a plagiarized paper, at, at, at the very least, okay? So don't do that. <laughs> okay, of course. Um, mind your P's and Q's, cite your sources, in-text parenthetical citations for a play, for a Shakespeare play. The way you do it, in parentheses, remember that goes after your quote, whether it's a direct quote or a paraphrase. It's the act number. So if you're just relying on Act 3, Scene 1, Line 63 to 97, whatever the lines are, you just put the number 3, dot, like a period, okay, the number of the scene, 1 in this case, dot, and then the line numbers, 63 hyphen 97, close parentheses, period, okay? You don't have to constrain yourselves. Uh, you, you could cite from other places in the play, certainly, of course, our main focus being that soliloquy to be or not to be, okay? Um, so that's how you cite from uh, a Shakespeare play. The act, period, the scene, period, and the lines, period, okay? Um, yeah, so mind your T's and cross your I's, whatever the saying, however the saying goes, okay? Because I'm not going to have time to turn around and say, hey, what's going on here? Because it's going to be the weekend and I got to get these things graded, okay? This week, if you have any uh, questions regarding um, a draft, if you want me to look at a rough draft, I'm happy to do that. Really, any time between Monday and Friday. Hopefully, you're not waiting until Friday, but... I'll, I'll, I should be available all week, okay? Um, I'm going to grade the journal assignment. Uh, at last check, not many people had done the journal assignment. Uh, let's see if that has changed in at least one of the classes. I'm just going to give it a little glance real quick, if you'll bear with me. So this was our third journal. It was talking about our tentative thesis statement for our final essay. And at this point, three people have contributed uh, the day on which it is due, okay? If you don't do the journal, you get a zero for the assignment. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you, okay? Uh, you know, homework in 1102 is, costs a little bit more than 1101. I think it's set at like 30% or so. So just doing the work is you're giving yourself a huge uh, boost just by doing the work. And most of you, when you do the work, you do a, a good job with this class and homework. So that's too bad. Maybe the, maybe the rest of you will turn them in uh, by tonight. I'm recording this Sunday afternoon now. So maybe we'll get them in by tonight. Okay. All right, everybody. I think that is all I have. Um, if you have any questions, anything at all, Shoot me an email, okay? Uh, and I'm happy to uh, talk to you, help you out. Uh, Mr. Churchwell as well. Uh, shoot him an email. And we're here to see you guys through the final week. I hope you have a great final week. Do your best. You've all worked hard. And um, it's been a pleasure uh, uh, guiding you all through both halves of the term. I know we don't see each other, but I like to pop in every week with these videos. Hopefully that counts for something for you. Uh, and if you ever need anything from me in the future, reach out to me. Letter of recommendation. You need me in your corner for something. 
I'm happy to help in any way that I can. Okay? All right, I reckon that is going to be a wrap. Okay? Stay safe out there. I hear Georgia's opening up. Down here in Florida, they're starting to phase open up, too, in phases. So maybe we're going to be able to escape the, the bunker and get out and rejoin the, the mortals on the surface again. God willing. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Let me know if you need any help. I'm here for you. It's been a pleasure. Peace. Bye.